Hey there, third grade, and welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi. Today, we are going to continue learning about the number grid differences, and we're going to keep practicing on our number grid. So you are going to want to find that number grid that is part of your math mat packet. Place that number grid right in your sheet protector. Use your dry erase marker and then you are ready to go. You'll have a lot of good opportunities to practice finding the difference between two numbers. So let's go ahead and get started as I shrink myself into the corner. So today we are going to be moving into grade three, lesson 1.2. We're going to be staying on number grid differences, and you will need your math mat as we practice um, uh, solving some problems right on the number grid. And then I'm going to show you how to play number grid differences on Connect Ed. So you are going to get a chance to play a game to practice this skill. So let's go and get started here. Up on the screen, I have a number grid. And I placed some arrows on this number grid because I wanted to just refresh everybody's memory. I'm going to take a look at this arrow first that I have moving. This arrow is going horizontally. It's going across and it's pointing to the right. And whenever I move to the right, I am adding one. I'm counting by ones. So let's see if that's true. 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28. So keep that in mind when you move to the right. You're counting by ones. On our number grid, if we go backwards and move to the left, we're going to smaller numbers. So we are subtracting one. Let's see if that's true. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. So when we move to the left on our number grid, we are subtracting a number. Then I have arrows that also point up and down. And I'm going to start with the arrow that is pointing down. That arrow that's pointing down adds 10 on our number grid. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, on and on and on. So whenever I go down, 48, 58, 68, 78, all I'm doing is adding 10 at a time. And then I have my arrow that points up. Sometimes we say we're going up the elevator or we're climbing the ladder. Well, this time we're subtracting 10. Let's check. 42, 32, 22, 12, and then two. So when we go up our number grid, we are subtracting 10 each time. Awesome job. It was important for us to go and review that. So we also learned some important words and phrases. We learned about the word difference and how difference means the distance between two numbers. Now, the difference also means the answer to a subtraction problem, because when we find the difference between two numbers, all we're doing is really subtracting. And we can also find the difference when we want to know how much more a number is or how much less a number is. That also is asking us to find the difference. So the way to find the difference works the same for all three of these important math words and sayings. So let's go ahead and try one on our number grid. So if you take your number grid in, in front of you and you have your marker, here's our problem. Find the difference between 37 and 69. So if you remember, our first strategy was to find both those numbers first. Find 39 and, or 37 and find 69. So I'm going to go ahead and look for those numbers and circle them. 37 and 69. 
So that was our very first step. Which two numbers do we need to find the difference for? And now I'm going to start at my second strategy. I like to start at my smaller number. This time it's 37. So when I start at 37, I like to go down 10, 20, 30, 31, because now I'm going to cross 32. So when I want to find the difference between 37 and 69, the difference is 32. Awesome job. All right, let's try another one. So go ahead and clear off your sheet protector. Erase your writing because now we have a different one. Find the difference between 24 and 67. 24 and 67. Go ahead and hit the pause button. I want you to try this one on your sheet protector. Find the difference between 24 and 67. When you think you have the answer, press play to see if you are correct. All right, did you get 43? I started at 24, 10, 20, 30, 40. Then I had to count by ones. 41, 42, 43. Awesome job. All right, you're going to need your sheet protector to practice one of these problems as part of a Nearpod activity. So go ahead to the next slide to see what you are going to have to solve. Welcome back, and I can't wait to see how well you did on that problem. Now here's a new problem. It has the same direction. Find the difference between 47 and 73. This is a little bit different of a problem because we might not always be counting up. So let's take a look. Go ahead and find the numbers 47 and 73. I like to put a circle around them. And now I want to start at my smaller number, which is 47. And I want to count up until I get to 73. 10, 20, 30. So if I reach 30, I now have to count backwards to get to 73. So 10, 20, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. So I got 26. Now, let's try it a different way. This time, I'm not going to go past the number 73. 10, 20. Now, if I go past, if I go another 10, I'm going to be past 73, right? 77 is, is past 73. It's greater than it. So I'm going to stop at the 10 that's less. So it's 10, 20, 21, because now I can count up. It's easier sometimes to count up. 22, 23, 24, 25. 5, 26. I got the same exact answer. So if I go past the number, I have to count backwards to get to it. If I stop before the number, I have to count up to get to it. You can do which either way works best for you. Let's try another one on your sheet protector. Find the difference between 38 and 77. Go ahead and hit that pause button while you work it out on your sheet protector. When you think you found the difference, press play. We'll see if we got the same answer. Did you get 39? Let's check. Here's 38. Here's 77. 
I counted by tens first by going down. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now I have to go backwards to get to my number 77. So that means I have to subtract 1. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 minus 1 gives me 39. So my answer is 39. Awesome job. All right, now remember that we also have two other phrases that also mean the same thing. Find the difference. How much more and how much less? How much more is 84 than 51? Well, we solve this problem the same exact way. Find your two numbers and then find the difference. Go ahead, hit the pause button while you try to solve this problem. When you're done, press play to see if we got the same answer. Did you get 33? I started at 51. I counted by tens, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. Awesome job. Let's try one more problem. This time our direction asks for how much less, but it's the same type of a problem. We find the two numbers and find the difference between them. Oh, and by the way, this is one of those tricky ones where you're going to have to decide whether you count up or count back to get to your number. Go ahead, hit that pause button and give this one a try. When you think you have an answer, press play. We'll see if we got the same answers. So for this problem, hopefully you got 57. I started at 34 and I counted by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. But now I had to count backwards to get to my number. 60 minus 1 is 59 minus 1 is 58, and minus 1 is 57. Awesome job! You're going to be trying a Nearpod problem right now, so make sure you use your number grid, and hopefully you can find the difference. Awesome job, third grade. We had a really great practice today of learning to find the difference. You're going to be playing the number grid difference game on Connect Ed. So I want to show you how you're going to get there. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the WTPS.org website. Once there, you're going to see the word students. You're going to hover over it. Don't click on it, just hover over it. See, when I hover over it, a menu appears. And I want to scroll down until I get to the word class link. It's the second word on there. And when I press class link, it takes me to a sign in page. Now, as second graders, you signed in with your little quick card. Well, as a third grader, we're going to sign in with Microsoft. So you're going to click on sign in with Microsoft, and it's going to ask you for your school email and your lunch pin. And they're given to you by your classroom teacher. So if you don't have that information, you're going to have to reach out to your classroom teacher. Once I click on that, I put in my email and my lunch pin. It's going to take me to my class link account that has all of my amazing school apps. I want to click on the McGraw Hill Education app. That's the app that gets me into Connect Ed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and we are going to be right into Connect Ed. Once I'm in Connect Ed and I launch my journal, you're going to notice that on every one of your lesson pages, at the bottom, you will see the Everyday Math Games Online there with the spinner. When I click on that, it's going to bring up all of my different games. Today, we're going to be playing the Number Grid Difference Game. Now, the Number Grid Gift Difference Game is either a one-player game or a two-player game. So you can decide if you have somebody near you that you're able to play with, 
you might be able to challenge them. Otherwise, you are going to be taking on the computer. So let's go ahead and hit the number grid difference game. And the directions are going to start to appear. Ready to play the number grid difference game? The lower score wins. Click spin to get the digits for your number. Click the number you want to make. Now, the important thing is the lower difference wins. So I want my numbers that I make to be close together. Uh, let me make 61. Now it's the computer's turn. Not much of a choice for now, the computer. Now the computer will enter the difference. The computer will start this round. So the computer chose the number 83. Now here are my choices. I could make 95, which would be here, or I can make 59, which would be here. But remember, the lesser the difference, the better chance you have of winning. So I want to make a number that's close to 83. What do you think? I'm going to go with 95. Enter the difference. Now I have to find the difference between these two numbers, and I can use my sheet protector to help me. So I'm going to go down 10, 11, 12. I enter in 12 and hit OK. You got it. Notice that I'm winning because my score is less than the computer's. So round two takes place the same exact way. You get to spin a number and then you get to decide how you want to arrange the digits. And once both numbers are chosen, the person with the lower difference is going to come out on top. All right, third grade, go ahead and log into Class Link, McGraw Hill Education, and play Number Grid Difference. See everybody soon. Have a great day.